In this video, we'll remind ourselves of a theorem we have stated. It was an application of the mean value theorem. Although, of course, at the time we didn't use the words anti derivative. Theorem. Let F sub one of X and F sub two of X both be antiderivatives of the same function f of x. Then these antiderivatives are very similar to each other. The only difference is a bit of addition. So, for example, let's find all antiderivatives of f of x equals 3x to the fourth. And to solve this problem, we'll start by looking for n antiderivative. Ignore the three for a moment. Constant multiples are easy to work with. How could you take a derivative and get something involving x? to the fourth. You could have x to the fifth. If you take the derivative of x to the fifth, you get 5x to the fourth. We don't want this five here. Bearing in mind that constant multiples just sit along for the ride, as it were, we could solve this problem by putting a one fifth out to begin with. Then, when you take the derivative, this five and this one fifth cancel, and you get x to the fourth. Still not what you're looking for. We wanted a three. Well, constant multiples just sit there. So if we put that three out front, it will still be there when we take the derivative. Brilliant. There's an antiderivative. It's not the only antiderivative. 
But what this theorem tells us is that every other antiderivative is just this one plus a constant. Here are all the antiderivatives of 3x to the fourth. Functions have unique derivatives. We've seen that functions do not have unique antiderivatives, but they come close. The antiderivatives are unique up to constant addition. And that's actually a really good thing that antiderivatives aren't unique. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to solve physical problems involving them. Let's see an example of that in our next set of notes.